So hello and good afternoon, everybody. My name is Shiva Srivastava, and I am the head of content writing here at IM Skills. And today I am going to be the host of this orientation session for all of you guys. So I welcome De Devakanya, Imran, Krishnamai, and uh, I'm expecting a few more guys to join in the session. But anyways, we will start with the session because in between people will join. Before we start with this session, I want each one of you, if you can acknowledge that you all are able to hear my voice clearly and see the screen as well. Kiran Mai, Imran, Devakanya, can you acknowledge? You can even unmute yourself in case if you want to reply, okay? Or yes, you can sir. use the chat box. Yes, sir. I can see you or Fantastic. I can hear you. Great, great. What about Imran? Kiran? Sir, this is Kiran May. I can see you and I can hear you. Fantastic. Great. So it means Imran is also able to see the screen and hear me clearly. So let's quickly start with this session. Another person has recently joined, but in between the session, I'm sure a few more guys will be joined in. Okay. So as I mentioned to you that I am going to be the host of this orientation session for all of you guys. So let's quickly understand the agenda, first of all, of this orientation session, that what all things we are going to discuss in this session today. And uh, in case in between the session, if you have anything to ask, you all are open to ask your questions. So let me quickly come on to the slide section for you guys. Let me see my notepad as well. It is ready for you guys. Yes, it is. Fantastic. So let's understand that, okay, what all things we will be learning in this session one by one. So the first thing that we will be discussing in this session today is overview of content writing as a domain. What is content writing? Why there is so much of demand of content writing? What all things are there in content writing? We will have a detailed discussion, first of all, around this topic so that we all should be clear that this is what is content writing as a domain. Okay, that is the first thing that I will be discussing with you all. Second portion that I'm going to discuss with you, that is what is the demand for content writing? See, I'm sure each one of you, when you are targeting content writing, you have certain objectives. Maybe some of you are looking for a job. There may be a possibility some of you are looking to get the freelance opportunities, but we have to make sure one thing that if we are choosing content writing as the domain for our future, so what is the strength of this particular domain? Whether this particular domain is in demand or not, we need to validate that part as well. So we will have a detailed discussion around this demand section as well. Okay. Another portion that I'm going to discuss with you is that is what to learn in content writing. See, I'm sure as you are looking for the content writing courses, so many companies you have come across where they are offering different type of courses and everywhere you are finding different companies are pitching you different things that, okay, we teach you this, we teach you that, but you need to understand that if you are targeting content writing, what is the most important part that you should be looking at for the content writing part? Okay. This is something what you should look at. Once this portion is clear to everybody, we will be talking about that there are so many people, those who are looking for the opportunities, maybe a full-time job, maybe a part-time job. So if in case you are looking for a job, what all things are required and how you will get the job, okay? This is also something we will have a detailed discussion. Everybody is saying that you do my course, do the course from here, you will get the job. But how exactly you will get the job, what companies are targeting, they are not telling you that part. So I'll majorly talk about the requirement of the industry. If you are preparing yourself as per the requirement of the industry, nobody can stop you in getting opportunities. Maybe it's a full-time opportunity or you're looking for freelance. It's up to you, but you will be able to get those opportunities. Once this section is done, I'll talk about the course that is of IIM skills. Why IIM skills course is really preferred by more than 20,000 students, those who have done the course with IIM skills, why we are the most respected institute over the last nine years. Everything I will show you today on your screen, validate every part. 
do not trust only onto the words validate every part that i am going to share with you and at the end guys because we are limited participants in this session today as of now question and answer section is something i am keeping open for everybody during the session if at all any one of you have a question or a doubt no need to wait simply just raise your hand and ask your question let's make this session interactive from both side it should not be a case only one person is talking and other person is listening so i hope these sections are clear to everybody let's quickly come to the basic thing that i usually share with everybody that is if anybody is targeting for content writing industry who all can do content writing course so here is the option where you can see that okay students looking for the stable career if they want to do content writing course they can go for content writing course if any housewife who is looking to start their career once again you understand after marriage or due to certain reasons people are actually finding a disconnect from the industry and finally after a certain period of time if you want to come back to the industry so housewife can also go for the content writing course business owners if they wanted to promote their business using their content power they can also come ahead and take up the content writing course working professionals if they want to upgrade content writing digital marketing professionals if they wanted to switch their domain or maybe wanted to do some sort of a specialization they can also do the content writing course and if anybody is looking for the passive source of income they can also go for the content writing course so this is something which is an open domain for everybody it is not like okay content writing is for few guys only so i always start my session with a question where i wanted to judge my audience those who are attending this session with me that what kind of understanding you guys have about content writing so my first question to everybody is what is content writing as per you we are nine people in this session i want everybody to reply dev kanya you can unmute yourself and you can answer to this question what do you think what is content writing imran kiran mai we will come to you one by one yes dev kanya uh, sir in my thought content writing is about your open thought about your mind your thinking okay your style i i am not that much i don't know okay. that much actually not an issue not an issue i'm not i'm not you know expecting the right answers exactly from you guys but i wanted to understand your you know i would say research about content writing accordingly i will be taking this session so you mentioned mind thoughts what you can uh, present with the help of content that's one of the thing who else is unmuting next person imran kiran mai yes please uh, sir my understanding is that uh, content writing is uh, some text or uh, yeah, videos which are which are written to help the customers uh, okay to understand so, better you about a uh, particular thing okay so text videos written form you mention okay great very nice answer other than dev kanya kiran mai who else is answering imran would you like to contribute sonali would you like to one person by the name pb if a person is not comfortable in unmuting you can even share your answer in the chat box as well anybody yes sonali sir, sir uh, yes, content please. writing is about uh, creating written contents to use for websites blog marketing materials okay. all right few more relevant words i got anyone else who would like to contribute anyone imran you can even type in case if you don't want to unmute yourself you can share your answer in the chat box so i have got one answer in the chat box it can be some form of written matter that can be informative or attract attention fantastic very nice answer pv can you please rename yourself your complete name uh, would be you know a better option so moreover everybody has answered excluding imran imran has not answered anything 
but not an issue i will lead the session from here maybe possibility uh, throughout the session in imran would like to participate okay so each one of you have given the answers but these are in parts these are not something which is a complete or full fledged answer let me help you to understand first of all what is content writing one promise i'm going to do with to all of you that is this session i'm going to make very easy in terms of understanding okay so we all should be on to the same page okay so here is the uh, you know a basic definition what i have found for you guys what is content writing simply let's understand the process of writing okay so writing is the main part okay the process of editing or the process of publishing the written material so when you write something when you edit something and after that when you publish this is the whole process is called content writing process okay in another words anything that you see on your screen maybe on your mobile phone screen maybe on your desktop screen because we are using internet in today's time so whenever we are looking anything at our screen in the form of text okay in the form of text this is the main portion that is the example of content writing in simple words okay let me write it down anything that you see in the form of text is the example of content writing okay so the process of writing is called content writing i'll take few more examples for you guys so that all of you can understand this particular section easily so nowadays we all are using internet right so when we are using internet what exactly we are looking at on our mobile phone screen let's understand that part we consume different type of content now what all these different type of contents are let's see when you look at your mobile phone screen what you see sometimes you see text sometimes you see images sometimes you are looking at videos sometimes you are listening to voice that that may be song that may be video something like that other than these four things have you seen anything else guys on your screen when you are consuming internet you can simply write in the chat box yes no other than these four things do you see anything else on your screen everybody you can type in the chat box when we are consuming internet do you see anything else other than these four things right we do not see anything other than these four things a very basic example i'm going to show you right here let's say amazon is one of the website similar like amazon we are going to multiple websites so what exactly we are looking at these websites you can see this is all in the form of text this is all in the form of text you can see there are images if you will scroll down on this website you will see there is a video as well let me scroll it for you uh maybe the video is not reflecting at this point of time but yeah sometimes you see videos as well sometimes you are listening to the voice messages as well okay other than these four things you will never find out anything on your screen whenever you are consuming internet so when you are not looking at anything other than these four things let me write it down here for you guys text videos images and voice messages the combination of these four things is called content okay the combination of these four things that you are looking at on your screen it is called content so in simple words what exactly you consume while using internet content is something that you are consuming and content has four types only these four types now another question that i am going to ask from you is out of these four types of content which type of content do you think has the dominancy you see the most out of these four type of contents which type of content do you see the most
Kiran Mai says text, great. Sonali says images. What about others? What do you see the most, guys? Other than these, I mean, out of these four things. Let me help you with that. Out of these four things, the dominancy that you will find out that is text. Text has the dominancy in the market. Okay. Text is something that has the dominancy. Now, why I am saying this? So when you are looking anything in the form of text, that is itself is a text. It means text is winning here. Okay. Let me come to next part. When we are looking at videos, how many of you have heard about video script? How many of you have heard about video script? Anyone? Anyone have heard about video script? Dev Kanya, Kiran Mai, Sonali, Infinai? Anyone? Have heard about video script? In the chat box, please. Yes, no? I need your participation, guys. Without the participation, it will be like one-way session. Dev Kanya have heard about it. What about others? Kiran may have not. Sonali have heard about it. Okay. So now video script is something. Before shooting any video, first of all, we need to write about that video. Proper detailed discussion descriptions we have to write. For an example, let's say there is a video that we have to shoot for one minute and two person are there in that video. We will say person X will say this dialogue and person Y will say this dialogue. So there is a proper written format that we will be getting before shooting a video. Okay. So that written format that we are talking about, that is the example of what? Text once again. So in simple words, whenever you are looking or watching any video, that video is being drafted only after this video script. So without video script, a video cannot perform. Okay. So once again, text is winning the battle right here in the video section as well. Let me come to the images part. When we go to images part, a lot of you must have seen that there are small messages. Small quotations are always there. Uh, well, Infinity, I have, you know, paused the camera for now so that you can focus on your screen. I have opened it. I hope you can see me now. Okay, great. So now images, whenever you are looking at on those images, small messages, small quotations are always there. I'm sure you must have noticed. How many of you have seen that? When you are looking at any image, always small messages are there. Usually. Great. Thank you so much for acknowledging. The reason why small messages are there on the, those particular images because every image have so many messages. Different people will have different understanding about one particular image and the message what the image is giving, right? So just to clear the message of that particular image, people are using these small messages so that everybody, those who are looking to those images should get the right message of that particular picture image. Okay, that is the reason the small messages are there. And once again, these small messages are the example of what? Text. And if we come to voice section, so voice section is also something, first of all, there is a written format that we will be getting and we have to speak that written format only. Okay. Then only the voice section will come into the picture. So nothing is happening randomly. Everything is pre-designed. Okay. This is something what we have to perform and this is the way how we can perform. Okay, so in all of these sections, you will find out text is something that has the dominancy. Without text, neither we can record a video, nor we can show our image, or we cannot, you know, listen to a voice as well, because that will never be created without text. So you can simply understand the whole digital industry, the internet world is now running on these four areas, text, image, videos, and voice. And the key 
soul of these four areas will be text. So without text, these four areas cannot survive. And if these four areas are not there, then internet industry cannot survive. Am I right on this point or wrong? If you can share your views as well in the chat box. Is it correct? Without text, we cannot assume the digital domain in today's time, guys. What do you think? Thank you so much, Kiran May, for acknowledging. Great. Thank you so much. Though we are limited people, but yeah, participation will be better in the less people. Okay, fantastic. So voice section or text section or image section is completely depending upon text part. Without text, internet industry is zero. So we can simply say text is the king of digital domain. But now once again, the question comes, if text is the king, let me write it down here. Text is the king of digital domain. And if text is the king, who creates these texts? Who writes? Let me write it down. Who writes the text? What do you think, guys? I hope you got the answer. What I'm trying to ask. Absolutely right, Kiran Mai. A content writer is somebody who is going to write that text portion. Digital industry cannot survive without content, content writers. So we can simply understand content writing is one part, but the demand for content writing, the second phase that I was sharing with you in the first slide, what is the demand for content writing? Simply understand we cannot survive without internet in today's time. And this internet world cannot survive without content writers. So content writer is that big industry. Every company need a content writer. Why? Because they have to survive in the market. They have to run their business with the help of content. And that is the power of a content writer. Till this moment, what is content writing and importance of content writing? Are you all able to relate with it or not? Simply yes or no in the chat box. Anybody have a question? You can let me know, please. I would love to answer. As of now, is it clear to everybody? Yes, no, in the chat box, please. Great, great. Now, let me come to the next portion. When you understand content writing is the king of digital domain and content writers are always required. Now, I am asking this question from each one of you. As you see, a lot of businesses are looking to hire content writers. Now, why do you think, why do they need a content writer? Based on your understanding, you can share your answers with me. If you want to unmute, you can unmute yourself. If you want to answer in the chat box, you can do the same. Why businesses hire a content writer? In the chat box or over a mic, you can let me know, guys. Waiting for your answers. Anybody? Dev Kanya Infinai, John Amani, recently joined, Kiran Mai Sonali. Why do you think a business hires a content writer? If you understand this question's answer, then you will be able to understand that what is required to get a job, how to get a job, what all things we should learn in content writing, because these are the KRAs that I am going to discuss with you right now about content writing. So you can let me know based on your understanding, why do you think a business will hire a content writer? What expectation business will have from a content writer, guys? Dev Kanya, Infinai, John, anybody is answering? Kiran Mai, Sonali, anyone who is answering to this question? Why do you think businesses hire a content writer? Anyone is answering? You can write down yes, no, if you are not aware about it. Anyone? Is anyone answering? Yes, no. Infinite to advertise his business and attract customers. Okay, let me make a note here. Good answer from Infinite. Okay. Let's say advertisement. Simple. I guess Infine, you have already attended some of my previous sessions as well. 
if i'm not wrong sonali says for engagement education and information let me write it down here sonali mentioned about engagement a good word sonali information fantastic brand building very nice one of the very important part what sonali has mentioned seo great very nice answer sonali bang on target very nice and for communication all right dev kanya says to make a great deal to attract other people okay let's say attract word i'm taking from here all right anyone else who would like to add something or i am going to answer to this question seems everyone is done let me answer to this question i'm just closing my video so that you will have focus on the screen now let's understand why a business hires a content writer moreover each one of you have given the answers which are bang on target but these are coming under certain areas so i am going to discuss the main areas why companies are hiring a content writer so let me share with you a company will always have an expectation from a content writer to drive sales that is number one requirement each company wants sale that is the reason they hire a content writer second objective what a company can have that is lead generation i'll talk about it in detail and third portion why company hires a content writer is brand building let me write it down here give me a moment guys so sales lead generation branding okay and everything that i have just mentioned here all of these things will come under these three areas only and do not get yourself confused by the term called sales being a content writer you are not responsible to do sales but your content will surely be responsible to get sales and i will give you a very good example right here as i mentioned to you i will keep the session very easy for you guys amazon is one of the platform each one of you are very friendly with this platform let me use amazon platform let's say we have to do shopping today from amazon how do we do shopping let me uh do like this let's say i'm searching this only wall painting for living room let's paint our houses together so wall painting for living room when i'm searching this part now understand out of the box knowledge that i'm going to give you one thing anything that we write in the search box this when you have to do research about something you always search it in the search box it can be on yahoo it can be at google it can be at amazon flipkart wherever there is a search box you search something this whole portion that you have written this is called keyword this is a marketing word just for your basic knowledge this is called keyword whatever you search in the search box is called keyword okay let me erase it here okay when i am searching this particular keyword that is wall paint for living room we are getting so many results in front of us so what we do let's say out of these results i am finding uh give me a moment let's say this this product i am finding good for myself in today's time for an example so what you do how do you buy the product left hand side of your screen you see there is a image this is not your job to maintain this image this is the job of a graphic designer to manage this image your job will start from here the product details that you see here scroll down the overall details of the product is here scroll down the description about the product if you are satisfied after reading all of this description and you find that this product can fulfill my requirement you will surely buy this product and if you don't think that this product can fulfill your requirement you will never buy this product okay now the simple part is if you are not getting the right information 
from this particular you know slide from this particular content will you ever buy this product a simple question to everybody if you are not getting sufficient information from this particular page from this particular product will you buy the product from amazon or not absolutely you will not buy product from amazon why because this content is not giving you sufficient information about this particular product right okay. so this is something which is a questionable part for a buyer that okay i don't want to buy this particular product so in simple words with the kind of business amazon have there is no human interaction a user will come look at the details if the details are satisfactory the user will buy the product if details are not satisfactory user will not buy so who is the main communicator with the user your content your text that you have written am i right or wrong guys here if i am saying here the main guide for the sale is your content your details that you are pasting here that is the main responsible feature for the salient of this particular product am i right or wrong guys what do you think in the chat box please thank you so much kiran bhai for answering so the companies where there is no human interaction your content is going to be the main interactive feature with the users so your content has the power to drive the sale and that is why companies like amazon they would love to hire a person who is a good content writer who can drive the sales directly without any human interaction that is one example i have given to you similar like amazon there are so many companies there is no human interaction only your content is responsible for the sales that is one of the requirements that i have shared with you number two requirement let me come to this part lead generation how many of you are aware about lead generation guys what do you think how many of you are aware about lead generation yes no maybe anyone who is aware about lead generation i am expecting answer a bit early a bit sooner anyone who is aware about dev kanya kiran mai sonali anyone is aware about lead generation anyone is aware about leads yes no in the chat box please okay so kiran mai is not aware about lead generation sonali says it is for attract potential customers and dev kanya says no see what is lead simply i let me give you an understanding a person who is likely to buy your service you have a person and you know that this person is likely to buy my service is a potential customer for me the moment you have the details of that person for the interaction details means the person's name the contact number and email address okay these three details when you have that potential buyer will become a lead for you you all are currently attending this session with me you all are lead for me why because i have your details your name your contact number okay so now we are into a business where if we have to survive in the market human interaction is required okay without human interaction you will not buy my course you need proper counseling proper first of all guidance now to counsel you we have to connect with you and to connect with you we need your details we need leads right so there are so many companies which are into human interaction based businesses like us they need users detail first of all to communicate with them to survive in the market to sell their services now how a company is getting leads that is the main portion that you have to focus here let's say when you were looking for content writing course you went on google you were not aware about iim skills as a company you searched for best content writing course google gave you iim skills website on the top you clicked on that website and you landed to this page so what you did you started reading this overall course details 
and when you were reading this course details you found that trust to iim skills that okay this is one of the good company which is offering a good course but i need more details from them let me download the brochure when you will click on download brochure these three details we are asking from you if you will provide these three details you will become a lead for us but you will provide your details only when when you are satisfied with the overall content what we have pasted what we have posted on our website if you are not liking the content that is there on my website will you ever share your contact details to us yes no maybe in the chat box please if you are not having that trust to iim skills will you ever share your details to us absolutely right you will never share your details with us why because you do not have that trust on iim skills that whether they can cater us or not but the kind of content we have given over to the website the kind of content my content writers team has written over the website that content had that power to win your trust and when we were able to win your trust then if we are asking you to share your details to us you did that that is the reason my team is connecting with you and you are attending this demo session with me so this is all because this overall content was able to win your trust okay so every company those who are into human interaction based businesses they want your details and you will share your details only when when you are comfortable with their content and that is the job of a content writer to write content in a way so that they can win your trust and get your details and this is how second example lead generation portion is done i i m skills is the example of it so these two options are clear to everybody or not yes no in the chat box please or if anybody have a question let me know i will answer to you dev kanya infinay kiran mai sonali any question as of now what is lead generation why company hires a lead generation content writer anybody has a question infinay says not clear please okay so it, it means infinay you didn't get the clarity infinay we were able to get your details on my website that is the reason my team started connecting with you if you have not shared your details with us there is no way how we know that okay infinay is looking for the training program but you shared your details with us why because you were finding that trust to iim skills that okay this is a good company i should share my details you never share your details to a random person you always share your confidential details to a person where you trust so that trust gaining factor is like the content that is there over the website what details please your name your email address and your contact number i'm talking about okay so now let me move to the next section that is branding now branding is something which is one of the really important part that is the job of a content writer only let's say i am getting 100 visitors in a day on my website looking for my course details do you think 100 out of 100 will buy my services will buy my course when you are landed to my website 100 out of 100 will buy my course do you think it is possible no it is not at all absolutely right thank you so much for acknowledging guys it is practically not possible that 100 out of 100 will buy my course uh well infinay we have your details no need to share your details here thank you so much anyways let me come back to this particular portion 100 out of 100 will not buy my course let's give a fair number out of 100 maybe 8 people will buy my course okay but other than those 8 people still 92 people are there those who are not buy my course what do you think are they not interested these 92 people those who have not purchased my course then and there what do you think are they not interested in the course they are interested like these eight people were interested they bought my course similar like them they are also interested to buy the course but at that point of time when they visited my website they were not ready to buy there could be so many reasons maybe 
finance was the issue because of that they were unable to buy my course there may be a possibility they want to discuss with their family mates there may be a possibility they are not the dominant to pay the course fees there may be x possibility y possibility they are interested but then and there they are not in a position to buy the course so when i know these 92 people are also equally interested to buy my services so don't you think i should follow these 92 people even after when they are leaving my website what do you think should i follow these people or not when you know that 92 people are equally you know looking to go for the course but maybe after 5 days 10 days will you follow those people or not in the chat box please yes no will you follow right absolutely right a business will always follow these 92 people because they are aware that after 5 days down the line after 15 days down the line they will buy the course so what companies are actually doing they starting uh, to send the emails you must have received so many emails from different companies when you visit a company they are sending so many emails informative details okay you are getting so many advertisements so many videos from them you are scrolling your instagram when you are showing your interest in one specific field you always start getting the reels related to that field only so all the companies are following the interest of a buyer through different ways videos emails advertisement images anything they are using because they are aware that the person has a potential to buy my service and if i will you know show my name all over the place to this person the person will surely come back to me why because i will become a brand for this person's eye okay so now wherever you will go you will find out iim skills name all over the places and wow i mean i mean how exactly we are able to do this through the content only and who is going to create that content a content writer only so this is the third reason how and why companies are looking to hire a content writer for the branding all three points are clear guys or you have any question you can ask your questions now i am going to move to the technical aspect of content writing which is the most important part of it is it clear to everybody if you can acknowledge me in the chat box please is it clear yes no maybe thank you so much dev kanya what about others great thank you so much thank you so much let me move to the next section now how many of you have heard about a term called search engine optimization seo and sem how many of you have heard about it in the chat box please search engine optimization search engine marketing how many of you have heard about it okay sonali says i have heard about it all right what about others kiran mai have heard about seo no one have heard about sem okay not an issue let me help you to understand both of these two things because if these two things you are clear in your mind then you will be clear which course you should buy which course you should not okay so how exactly we do shopping as i mentioned we will go to amazon we will search this and when we are searching this keyword we are getting so many results in front of us you can see this 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 right we are looking at so many results in front of us this now out of these results a human always has a tendency to click on to the results which are coming on top rather than going at the bottom and then we will click on this particular product or rather than scroll more there are so many pages is we will be clicking on page number 2 page number 3 and then we will buy it hardly happened so am i right that usually people are clicking on to the link which are coming on the top top of the result top of the search what do you think guys do you click in that way only when you are searching something you get the results on top you click on that result only mostly 
absolutely right. So you understand if a company is hiring a person as a content writer. So don't you think every company want a content writer who can take their company's product on top on a particular search? So what I'm trying to say, if this particular keyword I'm searching, so highest opportunities which, com which company will have this company that is fun, this fun terrace, this company will have highest number of sales. Why? Because this is coming at number one. This is coming at number one line. This is these, these, you know, paint options will have highest buy in compared to scroll down in compared to these paints, these paints will be having less sale in compared to the companies which are coming on top, right? So every company wants to come on top. So don't you think a company will be hiring a person who can take their company's product on top? Do you think am I right or wrong? Right, Sonali. Anyone else? Am I making sense? If Amazon will hire a content writer, they will always hire a person who can rank the company's product on top. Why? Because top rank is simply meaning for the highest sale. But one thing you are not looking at, when you are searching for this portion, wall painting for living room, the top result you are getting there. But before this result, can you see this sponsored tag is here? Sponsored tag is here. Sponsored tag is here. I am sure you all are able to see. In the initial four results, sponsored is mentioned. If I will scroll down at the bottom, in these results, there is no sponsored. Can you see that? Can you see the difference, guys? Sonali is able to see. What about others? Now, this is something which is a big difference, guys. Please acknowledge you all are able to see this. There is one sponsored, but here there is no sponsored. Now, let me show you why it is. Any result which are coming without sponsored, those are non-paid results. Okay. If any result is coming in front of you without any non-sponsored tag, which means I'm talking about this result. There is, sorry, just give me a minute. I'm talking about this result. There is no sponsored tag here. Okay. This is non-paid result. This is the result of search engine optimization. This is the exact result. This is the number one result what you were searching for. You should always click on to the results which are coming on non-paid section. This, this is number one company. But what other companies are doing, those who are unable to come on top, they also know that if my company will come on top, I will have higher chances of selling my products. But organically, they are unable to come on top through this SEO, they are unable to come on top. So what they do, they ask Amazon that you take my company's product on top and I am ready to pay a specific amount for that. It means I will pay you. Okay, so these are sponsored. Amazon says I am ready to take your company's product on top, but before your result, I will mention a tag that is sponsored. So the difference should be there. Organic will never have a sponsored. Organic means authentic. And the company which is not able to come on top organically, they will have a sponsored tag in front of them. Why? Because they are getting paid. They are paying to that particular merchant to take their product on top. But you as a fresh user, you are not aware about which is paid, which is non-paid. So you usually have a thought that, okay, this company is number one. It is not. It is an advertisement what you are able to see. Okay. So every company, if they wants to hire a content writer, they will be hiring a person who can take their company's product on top without any paid advertisement organically through SEO. And if you don't know SEO, you are not a content writer. A company will never hire you. A company will never appreciate you. Am I making sense here, guys? Yes, Kiran Bhai, you are absolutely right. Pay per click. If I will click on that product, this product, then this company will pay some amount to Amazon. Why? Because Amazon has got one click through the advertisement for them. Is it clear to everybody that organic and non-organic 
the difference is clear seo and sem for now only this portion is enough to understand that if you are a content writer then you have to learn seo without seo the job will never be there okay now let me show you another difference i mentioned to you this is the section where i will show you that which company you should target for the courses that you are looking for do not trust on my words do not trust on any other person's words you do your own research now when you know that a company hires a content writer they are looking to hire a content writer who is good in writing and who is good in seo then don't you think whichever company is training you on content writing they should be best in good writing and good seo what do you think they should be doing best seo for themselves don't you think it is right or wrong if a company is saying i am the best company to teach you search engine optimization or writing skills don't you think they should be best in their own seo they should be able to get their own positioning through search engine optimization right now here is the difference this is what i was willing to share with you let's say there are so many companies which are saying we are the best do not trust simply open a website sem rush i am sharing this website with you okay you do this practice after this demo session i am sure you will get the clarity let me close this page give me a moment guys let me clear my screen sem rush this is the website what you have to open this website will ask you to log in you can simply log in from your email address there is no payment that you have to give this is a globally used tool it's a free tool this tool will tell you which company is coming on number 1 traffic wise traffic wise means how i mean if a company is getting highest number of visitors it means the company has number 1 position that is the reason they are getting highest visitors now here you need to validate that if you are looking for content writing course and you have two three companies mind name in your mind then which company is organically number 1 let's do that research let's do research by the name of iim skills this is my website iimskills.com so in the search bar you have to click on iimskills.com this is my company's website so what you will see every month what is the traffic organically we are getting 4 lakh traffic we are getting per month at our website organically organic search traffic now if iim skills is getting 4 lakh traffic organically there are so many other companies which are claiming to be the best and providing content writing course where exactly these companies are positioning in front of iim skills in terms of organic traffic let's validate that part scroll down on the same page you will see a competitive map here can you see competitive positioning map everybody can you see this competitive positioning map now here let's validate the traffic of iim skills you can see this purple circle on your screen this purple circle belongs to iim skills here we are this circle belongs to iim skills and these are the competitors of iim skills you see organic traffic wise what is their positioning in front of iim skills we are almost three time bigger than any of these competitors who all are claiming to be the best in content writing they are not they are unable to beat iim skills organic traffic organic positioning they are not able to beat iim skills organically and if they are not able to beat iim skills organically it means they are not better than us in seo and if they are not better than us in seo then they are not better than us in terms of teaching us seo and teaching you content writing that is one way how you can validate the content writers or the content writing companies which are offering you content writing course so there is no manipulation straight discussions if you can do seo you are good to get job the company who can teach you best seo should be doing best seo for themselves and here are the results in front of you okay this is one way how you can validate now i will come to next portion here and i will relate this portion with seo as well okay 
Now, how many of you are looking for a job? How many of you are looking for a freelance opportunity or setting up your own business? If you can reply me in the chat box, please. Devakanya, Infinai, John Amani, Kiran Mai, Sonali. How many of you are looking for a job? You simply write job, freelance, or your own business in the chat box. Kiran Mai says freelance. What about others? Sonali says freelance. Okay. Else? I'm expecting other answers. Dev Kanyas is looking for a job. Infine looking for job and freelance. Who else is replying? Uh, John, still no reply from you. Are you not finding this session engaging? You can also participate. I got the answer from John, finally. So looking for a job. Thank you so much, John, to participate in this session. So let me help you to understand. As I mentioned to you, I'll tell you that, okay, if you're looking for a job, what is required? I'll mention it right here, okay? Let's say job, freelance, and I mean, there was no one who was, who was here for the own business, but yeah, freelance and business will have same requirement. If you are looking for a job, what is required? Good writing skills. Now, what is the definition of good writing skills? The definition of good writing skills I have already explained to you. If the company has an objective from you to get the details of a customer, you should be able to get that detail. If the company has an expectation from you to drive the sale for a company, your content should be able to drive that you know, trust. So if you are able to fulfill the requirement or expectation of a company through your content, that is a good content writer. A reader should be able to understand your message that you have given in your content easily. The content should be easy to understand, easy to, I would say, you know, cope up, right? So this is something which is the portion that a good content writer will always keep in mind. That is number one. Strong SEO skills. Without SEO, you will not get job. Very simple. Now, SEO, I have already explained to you what is SEO. I have already shown you the positioning of IM skills in SEO and other competitors. This is second portion. And third portion, strong portfolio. Now, what is portfolio? Let me give you some light on that, okay? Whenever we are going for an interview, we share or we give our resume to the company. A company will look at our resume, will talk on the points which are given in the resume. If the company will like that particular you know, discussion, they will hire us, otherwise they will not. But here in digital industry, in content writing, they these companies are looking at strong portfolio portfolio means you should be a person if you are saying i am a good content writer i can do good seo then your work should be there somewhere on digital platforms that you can show to the company that okay this is my work you can see the performance of this work you can see the positioning of this work and i am doing best in content writing so showing something directly to the person and saying something to the person has a difference if i will have two people in front of me one person is saying i am the best this and that and i'll do this and i'll do that only saying nothing there is no presentation of what he is saying at the other side on the other side i have another person that person is saying i am the best in content writing you see my work it is live you can see my work so what do you think you will hire a person who is just saying something or you will hire a person who has their work live on digital platform. So that work is called your portfolio, what you are able to show. So what do you think? Will you hire a person with a portfolio or with a resume only? In the chat box, please, guys. You can simply write resume or portfolio. Everybody, I'm going to explain absolutely right portfolio without portfolio in digital world it is next to impossible to get a good job okay so portfolio is something what will be required for sure this is one part now a good certification is also something that will be required to crack the interview this is what is required to get a job let me come to freelance if anybody is looking for freelance what is required number one you need to have your own website. If you do not have a website as a freelance content writer, nobody knows you. 
where will you redirect that audience where will you meet these audience where will you pitch your services right you need to have your own website that is number 1 number 2 things will start from here good writing skills it means you should be pitching your skills in the best way number 3 good seo skills it means if you have a website you should be able to rank your website on top in front of that audience those who are looking for content writing freelancers and after that you need to have a strong portfolio because when you have a person on your website the person is already talking to two more people so you need to have uh, you need to you know show something to the person to convince them that okay i'm the best person who can do freelancing for you so a strong portfolio is also something what is required plus you should be a good salesperson because you are the one who has to sell your services your skills so you should be good at sales if you are not having any of these you will not get freelance opportunities okay so make sure whichever company you are choosing for your learning the company should be able to teach you best writing skills best seo skills and they should be able to develop your portfolio if you have these things you will be able to get a job you will be able to get the freelance opportunities as well till this portion is it clear to everybody or not i am waiting for your answers guys meanwhile let me have a sip of water thank you so much sonali for answering what about others great thank you so much everybody for acknowledging now my simple request as a friend as a coach to you is never fall into into the traps of a person you are talking to me i am a sales person my in, you know intention is that i will give my best to get your enrollments you are talking to another person another company they will give you lots of false things false commitments do not fall into those false commitments false commitments always validate everything what they are saying the way i am validating everything you can question me on you know in every part that i am explaining to you okay now let me come to the course that we are offering but before that i would love to show you more than 20000 people those who have got trained by iim skills how you can talk to them how you can take the feedback from them everything i will show you okay so now this is my linkedin profile guys i would really appreciate if you want to join with me on my linkedin you can join with me and not only for the course for your career if you need any suggestions you can always get back to me or you can always ask for the suggestions i would love to help you in that case now why iim skills we should go for let's understand that part first of all every company says that okay we are the best we have trained these many students those many students they never show you any data you go to your linkedin go to search bar search iim skills simply search this when you will be searching this you will be getting a page like this on this page you can see this people step click on this people option when you will click on this people step you see how many results are coming approximately 99000 okay i am not saying everybody is from iim skills but yeah most of them have done the course with iim skills you can see everybody those you can see the profiles of they are the students of iim skills they are working somewhere they have done the course with iim skills you can add anyone in your profile page number 1 page number 2 page number 3 any page you go you add any profile go to page number 100 talk to them ask for the feedback that you have done a course with iim skills what was your experience over there that is one way how you can validate now understand a company can manipulate one person two person three person but a company cannot manipulate more than 20000 people right and this is something which is open you talk to anybody randomly it's not like that i'm asking you to open this profile only up to you so these many students have done the courses with iim skills where exactly these guys are working more specifications go to iim skills website click on placements give me a moment let me open the placements tab for you guys 
Now, when you will click on placements tab, here are the profiles directly of those guys. I mean, some of the profiles we have shortlisted, we have shared their details. You can add anybody, click on this in tab, LinkedIn profile will open. You talk to any random person, add them, ask for the feedback where they are working. You will get the details. Not only this, you can simply go to LinkedIn once again. After going to LinkedIn, simply search Vaibhav Kakkad. He is the founder of IIM Skills. Okay. Open his profile. He is the founder of IIM Skills and one of the lead faculty at IIM Skills. So you can simply open his profile. His profile is an open profile. That is the best part. Click on view full profile. When you will click on view full profile, then you will be coming to this page and you have to click on to the option that is comments, this option. Everybody, those who have done the course with IIM skills, they can comment to IIM skills regarding their achievements. Okay. So when I have clicked on comments, let me click on show all comments. When you are clicking on show all comments, here you will be able to see the satisfaction level of the people, those who are doing the courses with IIM skills. Okay. You can see I'm happy to share digital marketing course completion certificate from you. Awesome IIM skills. It was wonderful experience. That is for digital marketing. You will see a lot of people are actually sharing their views for content writing. You see here, this person is have done the course with content writing, right? I am happy to share this, right? The person is actually thanking to IIM skills. Scroll down. A lot of people are actually showing that where exactly they have got the jobs as well. Uh, just give me only one minute. Let me show you one of the examples. Give me a moment, guys. I wanted to show you some real examples where people have got the job and they have shared with us. Just give me only one minute. If you will come to this portion, look for these section hello connections i have shared my new position content writing internet see this person has shared you know the place where the person has started working similar to this you will be finding a lot of people those who have starting their started their job their company and everything see i am happy to share that i promoted as an associate content acquisition manager at willy so this is all something which is an open part there is nothing which is hidden I am showing you everything. We are promising that, okay, if we are helping you to get jobs, yes, you will be getting jobs. People are sharing their feedbacks. People are writing at Amazon's or uh, I would say LinkedIn profile, or you can even go to my page that is jobs.iamskills.in. If you will come to this part, this is our job portal. I wanted to see how many jobs are there in content writing. Click on content writing. Then you will see one week ago, one week ago, one week ago. These all are the jobs that we have posted on our job portal two weeks ago. These all companies are reaching out to us to hire, hire our candidates for the companies. So this is all something which are trust gaining. It is not something where anybody is promising you that, okay, we will give you a job and this and that, and no proofs are there. I have shown you those proofs as well, that we do deliver these kind of, you know, sections at IM skills, right? So this is about the course that we offer. Let me give you some details about the training program that we offer here at IIM Skills directly so that you can finally make your decision about the course that has been offered by IIM Skills. So this is the course guys that we offer. The course we are offering is called Content Writing Master Course. It's a 10 weeks long training program in association of Government of India. This training program will be let me help you here. Duration for this training program will be 10 weeks, as I mentioned, plus one month internship will be there. Okay. That will be the portfolio development time. Classes will be every Tuesday and Thursday, 8 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Okay. Fresh batch, we are starting from upcoming Thursday, sorry, Tuesday, 6th, 6th of August. 
All right. Course fees for the training program will be twenty four thousand nine hundred plus eighteen percent GST. That will go to twenty nine thousand three hundred eighty two rupees. This is about our course fees. The batch we are starting from sixth is now left with three more enrollments. If you are interested, you can simply go ahead, use the link that I'm sharing with you. This is the link. Those who are interested to enroll into this particular training program, you can go ahead, simply click on this link. If you will go to this link, this will this link will take you to a page which looks like this. Simply enter your name, phone number, email address, Select the date that should be the 6th of August and then proceed to enrollment process. This is how the overall process of IIM skills is done. And this is what I was intending to share with you. So I am done with the overall section what I was willing to share with you guys. Now, if any one of you have a question, you are open to ask your questions. And also in the chat box, do let me know out of these three seats, how many of you are willing to start from 6th of August batch and also share your feedback about the session guys. I am ready to answer to all of your questions. Everybody, anyone has a question, you can let me know right here. And how many of you are planning to start in the recent days? Please let me know your plans in the chat box, please. Kiran Mai, Sonali, John, Infinai, Dev Kanya. You can share how soon are you planning to start in the chat box, please. Accordingly, my team will connect with you. And how was the overall session? Please do share your feedback as well. Someone is asking Kiran Mai, I guess you have a question, please. Yeah, sir. Actually, I'm still in a doubt that uh, whether I am I'm eligible or suitable, whatever, maybe to take a content writer career or not. How can what I do you want that? to do? Once again, if you can put some light on your requirements. I can't put you. I am saying what what all your expectations are from content writing course. Yeah, actually, uh, first let me tell me about myself. Hmm. Uh, uh, I am a housewife, sir. Okay. Uh, actually, a BTEC graduate, long, long back. Great. All right. Uh, uh, that is some 15 years back. I used to work in a MNC. Okay. After that, I left everything. Okay. Uh, I'm not even active on uh, social media also. All right. Uh, I just have a profile. I never open it. Uh, okay. So, I, I, I want to restart again. Uh, so, right. I'm checking for different options like digital marketing, content writing. Uh, hmm. So this one started attracting more content writing, uh, All right. but I don't know whether I can make a career and a, and a decent amount, uh, something like that. Uh, how can I know whether I am suitable for this? I got it. I got it. So I got your, you know, overall, uh, you know, the things, what is going on in your mind. Let me help you to understand that part. At the starting of this demo session, I had shared one slide with you guys where I mentioned that there are a lot of, you know, housewives, there is a disconnect because of marriage or maybe X, Y, Z reason from the professional world. Finally, they want to come back and start their career. That is what I mentioned at that point of time. Let me give some more details into this. Okay. First of all, content writing is an open domain. There is no prerequisite. Anybody from any academic background can come ahead and take up content writing skills. If you are skilled into content writing, there are n number of jobs only Nokri portal if you will look for the job only Nokri portal which is one of the job portal okay more than 7000 jobs are listed only in india okay only one portal i'm talking about content writing is one of the domain which is not restricted only for indian continent it is globally demand i mean in demand but companies are looking a person who is good in content writing whether you will be able to do content writing or not, that is something which is not at all a questionable part. Why? Because that is our job to teach you. But what we are expecting from you 
if you are coming into content writing make sure you are following all the guidances what we are giving you you do not have social media presence that is not at all an issue as of now you were not into need of it finally you have a need of social media we will help you to create your account on social media it will take 2 months 3 months 4 months time to grow your channel but to grow your channel what do you require you require content okay so you should be a person who should start some practicing like okay if i am coming into content writing i should start answering on quora make your account on quora start answering to questions on quora start helping people on linkedin read articles blogs what is going on in the market this is all something which will come into the practice only when when you will enter into content writing domain you should be a person who can understand english and you have a laptop for us it is more than enough rest you leave on us you will get opportunities freelance opportunity full time opportunity that is our our responsibility that is our job how do we do that i have already explained you that part i need 2 hours daily from you to do the practices other than your class time simple if you are ready to devote that much you are 200% eligible to go for the course one more interesting fact about content writing domain if you will compare the ratio between male and female around 65% ratio you will find out from female and out of that 65 around 70% females are housewives like you okay so this is the kind of ratio so trust yourself ready to do content writing trust i am skill take your first step and i am sure things will be delivered into a positive way to you so you can surely go ahead about it thank you sir uh, i have one more doubt Yes, uh, everyone is nowadays talking about AI. Uh, how it will affect this domain? Got it. See, artificial intelligence. A lot of people have a you know question in every demo session that they have heard that okay, AI is going to replace uh, the content writer's job. I simply have a question to everybody. Let's say there are two writers, those who are using artificial intelligence to write content. One writer has given command. uh let's say best tourist places in north india and artificial intelligence will give us the answer another person is searching the same term best tourist places in north india do you think artificial intelligence will give a different answer to it same answer or a different answer what do you think kiran bhai if you are searching the same term twice artificial intelligence will give same answer or not Same answer, sir. Same answer. Uh, uh, but Artific it can't give it personal experience or something. Right. You know the answer yourself. Same answer will be there. First of all, Google will never appreciate same content on two websites, so it is practically not possible. Second part is you have a different, you know, opinion about North India. You are looking to roam something else. Another person is looking to roam something else. so only a human can validate that i i am targeting this segment of audience those who are looking to roam these kind of places and for those what is the human touch that is required only a human can decide that part artificial intelligence will never be able to judge that part artificial intelligence will always be giving you the answers which are fixed as per certain algorithms artificial intelligence you can use in content writing but that is for the market research it is not for the writing purpose in content writing this will never happen that artificial intelligence will replace iim skills or let's say content writing if it is that strong why we have a team of content writers more than 500 content writers we can simply you know buy a boat from artificial intelligence and start writing content using them it is not worthy google has given a notification in 2022 itself that artificial intelligence content is banned it will never be ranked on google right so you can be assured on that part it will never be replacing content writers job okay thank you sir most welcome uh john says i will join soon when content writing sunk best in me okay i feel like i need more sessions like this to relieve or uh, refine my skills See John, we always have these sessions every weekend. I'm sorry, uh, every Thursday. But moreover, content will be shared in this way only. 
if you want to learn content writing i'm not saying join my institute only but you should join somewhere in free without mentorship you will never be able to get details or job i would say the you know the knowledge a, you will be able to take help from youtube and all but it will take years of time for you to understand overall content writing okay so do not delay find out the institutes best institutes if you think iim skills is not best look for other institutes but start your journey don't waste your time dear i myself hold around 9 years of experience with content writing so i know this industry very well every day we are lacking behind if we are not upgrading ourselves as per the current requirements right so pay attention to that part and take some steps that is just a friendly suggestion to you anyone else if you can mention how soon you guys are planning to start and also guys do share your feedback as of now nobody has given a feedback about the session even so dev kanya says the session is really good and did a really great help to understand about content writing maybe i will join soon after little conversation with my family about this no issues dev kanya take your time as i mentioned to you i will never be talking like a sales person a friend is talking to you showing you the reality one assurance from my side content writing if you are looking go for iim skills we appreciate the value of your thoughts we will teach you right from scratch till the advanced level and we are upfront transparent see everybody is selling the courses likewise we are also selling but at least we are telling you the truth we are showing you everything transparently people are hiding things so be very careful on that part okay you can surely take your time talk to your family what about sonali what about infinay they uh, and uh, what about others kiran mai what's your plan okay kiran mai i had a discussion with you you can also you know give a thought to it kiran mai sonali what's your plan about this infinay i guess it's been a, are you a enrolled participant of iim skills infinay or you have attended so many demo sessions i recall your name i have your name in my mind i have seen your name so many times sonali about your plans yes no anything okay not an issue guys uh, anyways i would want you to share your feedback with me how was the session do you like the session or not and let us know at least a tentative date so that accordingly i can ask my teammates to connect with you and help you with this everybody in the chat box please feedback and tentative date please sonali says i have a question i am preparing for net and have plans to do for psc okay i have think of content writing going well research work i should go medical writing okay phd okay okay all right see if you are working on to the writing skills okay that is general writing articles blogs copywriting academic writing then content writing is the best course if you are looking something specialized for technical section or only for medical writing then i suggest you to go for technical writing that is the best course we even offer you technical writing course as well but you need to decide whether only general writing you are targeting or completely only medical writing for medical writing technical writing is best any question guys yes no in the chat box please we'll discuss with my family because evening time is peak time for me take your time evening time is something which recently we have done because everybody is free in the evening time previously we were having the sessions on sunday but sunday everyone wants some time with their family so that is the reason why we have done this right so take your time i will ask my colleague to connect with you those who are planning to start finally from the batch starting uh, this uh, tuesday use this link and uh, looking forward to welcoming you all in the session similar experience you will have in our classes as well okay so thank you so much once again everybody sharing your time with us it was really nice hosting this session with all of you uh the number was less 
but yeah it was really interactive so thank you so much for your time uh, i'm sorry to interrupt yes kiran bhai uh, will you be the teacher i mean the mentor during the classes will you teach it uh kiran bhai the faculties are far better than me they are highly experienced faculties i am not into the training department actually i am into the delivery section okay and pre registration section i am into the team of but you will be getting total three faculties number one vibhav kakkar the founder of iim skills holding more than 15 years of experience number two you will be getting jessica having a great exposure into content domain and number three bhavna and roma malhotra okay every faculty have more than i would say 6 to 7 year of experience into the teaching department i am somebody who is not into the teaching but yeah i know this industry very well maybe possibility soon i will be coming into the teaching department as well. thank you most welcome thank you so much john for your time so finally i am closing the session seems everything is fine those who are planning to discuss with their family discuss with your family update the teammates and i hope that maximum by today evening or maximum by tomorrow you all will be able to communicate so do communicate guys that's the most important part once again thank you so much all of you giving your time we are half uh, half hour you know i would say late in terms of closing the session but yeah, it was really nice having session with you thank you so much i am closing the session and looking forward to welcoming you all You all have a great evening together. Bye.